It is being described as the most keenly contested election in the history of the River State Council of the Nigerian Union of Journalists. After months of heated campaigns led by the incumbent chairman and his main opponent, all eyes were fixed on the delegates' conference for the conduct of the election. The event was off to a peaceful start of the state secretariat of the union until it was time to commence the main business of the day that would see journalists elect officials to pilot the affairs for the next three years. But members of one group who alleged that the exercise had been hijacked raised objections that resulted in a free-for-all. It took the intervention of a combined team of policemen and the Department of State Services to restore some order. They should bring out the names of members of the respective chapels. Secondly, they should show how they have paid their check of dues over the years, particularly from 2018 to 2021. And then go ahead to display the names of these people in the council record that is here at Moscow Road and in all the chapels that make up the state council for claims and objections. Just the day uh, preceding this election, some of those people were still writing petition to the National Secretariat questioning the authenticity of the list. If they were not aware of the list, if they did not see the list, if they didn't see those who were on the list, so which petition were they writing? Against which list? This is a gang of internet frosters, popularly known as Yahoo Yahoo. They operate from a rented four bedroom apartment in Kefi where they engage in their illicit activities. The suspects procured 22 laptops and mouse to aid their operations. That's what they have been using to but the illicit business came to an end when the police raided their hideouts. Six of the suspects were arrested. Laptop from Yahoo Boys at Kefi. They have been making people to shed tears. It is now their turn to be shedding tears. Because we will not allow them to go on party. The gang leader is an orphan and a secondary school dropout. He claims poverty lured him and his gang into Yahoo Yahoo. What do you think you enter the business? Poverty. What kind of poverty? Your parents know they are alive at all. I don't have a dad. My dad, I don't know where he is. What about your mom and your siblings? You don't have relatives to take care of you. I don't know my relatives. I don't know any of my relatives. I only know my mom. And my mom is poor. The police also arrested two notorious drug barons in careful local government of the state. The operation, which was led by the police anti-kidnapping unit, recovered 38 bags of dry leaves, suspected to be Indian hemp. These suspects are the major suppliers of marijuana in careful local government. The outbreak of COVID-19 have not only created a global health crisis, but impacted economic activities leaving the vulnerable, including migrants, stranded. The launching of the project, providing immediate socio-economic relief to vulnerable migrants impacted by COVID-19 in northern states of Nigeria, is to mitigate the immediate impact of the pandemic on returning migrants, especially the elderly, women and children, and people living with disabilities. My ministry launched and extended various financial assistance initiatives for businesses, families, and individuals, uh, i.e. the Rural Women's Cash Grant Program, and also modified the National Homegrown School Feeding Program. The project is funded by the government of Switzerland. An economic consequences of the pandemic add to the difficult situation people face in areas affected by insecurity, political instability, and economic hardship. These factors impact the management of migration movements and put further strain on government capabilities to provide for the vulnerable. The projects will be implemented by the IOM and Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs. 
It will also complement existing programs for migrant protection and reintegration and align with Nigeria's priorities of eradicating poverty. Yeah.